All right, Chris, thank you very much. And congratulations to Alabama on an absolutely spectacular performance tonight. And winning the championship for the third time in the college football playoff era. Also, congratulations to Ohio State. The Buckeyes had a terrific season to get here and play in this championship game. Now to present the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy. Here is the Executive Director of the College Football Playoff, Mr. Bill Hancock. Thank you, Reese. First, I want to congratulate and salute everyone on campus across the country who played such an important part in making college football happen during this remarkable season. And now on behalf of the conferences and schools who manage the college football playoff, it's my honor to present the national championship trophy to coach Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Alex Motherwood taking care of the trophy. Nick, when you consider everything that this team had to endure to get here and to be able to finish it in such emphatic fashion, what's the significance of that to you? Well, to me, this is the ultimate team. All these guys bought into everything they needed to do to be the best players that they could be. There's more togetherness on this team than almost any team that we've ever had. And they had to overcome and persevere so much adversity through this season. And they've done it magnificently. And I'm so proud of this group for what they've been able to accomplish and going undefeated and winning the national championship. What does it say about the resilience and just the desire to be on the field? So many guys got nicked up, banged up, and they just kept coming out to play some more. Well, I tell you what, we had a lot of receivers step up today because we had a lot of guys banged up, and they did a remarkable job. But that's been the way we've done it all year long. Next man up, uh, and I'm really proud of all these guys in terms of how they prepared so they could actually take advantage of the opportunities when they got them. What was that ride that Landon Dickerson gave you across the field like right after the game? Well, he wasn't supposed to play in the game. He just came off of surgery, but he wanted to go in and snap the ball, so we let him do that. So I guess he was pretty happy for me, but I enjoyed the ride. <laughs> Nick, congratulations. Your seventh national championship. Thank you. Thank you. And now let's hand out some individual awards from the players. The offensive player of the game for the college football playoff national championship is the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. Devontae, you set a championship game record in the first half. How would you describe your mindset coming out here and how you wanted to attack this Ohio State defense? Uh, just came down to trusting my training. My coach prepared me this week for this game and just trusting my training and then put me in a position to do what I did. When you look back over this season and the leadership that you were able to provide, what will be most meaningful about this team to you? Um, just how everybody stuck together. When people last year, they said the dynasty was over. We don't stop. We just keep reloading. Six championships in 12 years and one of the greatest seasons in the history of the sport. Devontae, congratulations. And our defensive player of the game for his performance up front, Christian Barmore, defensive tackle from Alabama. I'll ask you a question first and then we'll go and then you can say whatever you want. Hey, Christian, uh, people thought this was going to be a back and forth offensive game and certainly both these offenses are terrific. What, what was your mindset? What was the most important thing you wanted to accomplish defensively tonight? Well, me and my team, we came in mama mentality. So we came in to play physical and strong and we came and dominate. After everything that you guys have given up, you've given up social life, you've given up opportunity, test after test after test, to be able to finish it emphatically like that, what does that mean to you? Well, we work hard. We work hard every day, even when we came back. You know, we, we, we the best. You certainly proved that tonight. Christian Barmore, the defensive player of the game. 
Hey, Chris, I'm going to let this go now because Najee Harris told me a minute ago, he said, hey, we got to get this thing rolling because we got stuff to do. They got some stuff done tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a well-earned celebration, Reese. You're right. They did everything well this year. They managed the COVID virus with discipline once the season began. It wasn't easy, as Reese talked about, the isolation, the detachment. The sacrifice these players made, and to be so relentlessly consistent, the Alabama way, we're used to seeing it, but Kirk, in this season, even more impressive. Six championships, 10, 20 years from now, when we look back at this season, we'll remember a lot of different things. When I think of this Alabama team, I'm going to think about what Coach just said. He's had a lot of great teams, but this team is a team. Like, they fought in to one another. And I don't know if it was COVID that may maybe even push that further along but the guys that came back they could have gone to the NFL led by Devontae Smith and Najee Harris they were not just focused on coming back and just getting through a year they came back with the purpose of improving but winning a championship and that drive and that focus when your best players are focused like that permeates across the entire roster and that's why they've been able to look it down and see that confetti coming down with that trophy well said not the preseason number one. That was Clemson, but the Tide, the clear favorite, wire to wire since the CFP rankings came out. A chemistry built in the anxious offseason. And all that roster talent, that tremendous class that came in in 2017, won championships as freshmen, cap it off with another one as seniors. The constant in this confusing, surreal season. Sarkeesian off to Texas. We certainly wish him well. A masterful job calling plays again tonight. Well, our team is proud to persevere and bring you broadcasts all season long. We dealt with a lot of stuff, as all of you have, and it was a season of isolation and detachment for us as well. But we're proud to make it through to the finish line, and we thank you for hanging with us. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.